My name is Ven Subramaniam, and I'm a student at the Frank H. Netter MD School of Medicine. For my capstone project, I decided to house my project in the communications concentration. Um, I'm working with an undergraduate journalism professor, Professor Rich Hanley, and a pediatrician in Shelton, Connecticut, Dr. Karen Lagelle, who runs a concussion care practice. I took a course with Professor Pete Sumby in the communications school. Um, it was called Presenting and Producing TV Sports, during which I worked alongside seven other students, and we produced a full-length TV show for the Quinnipiac Athletic Department. As a mentor to Venn, I basically oversaw the production of the first phase of his research. We collaborated very closely on the type of academic and medical research into concussions that was already available and figured out a way for him to build on that. I gave him a lot of the background medical literature that, that he needed to read up on in terms of concussion injuries and also had him come in and clinically shadow in my practice so that he could see how we actually evaluate patients. And then from there, we started talking about how do you really um, educate people. Between the three of us, we're forming educational modules to inform parents, coaches, and players in middle school-aged hockey leagues on concussion protocol, whether it's recognition of the concussion on site, the emergency department evaluation that they'll undergo, the protocol for return to play, and the protocol for return to learn as well. One thing that I love about the curriculum at the, the Frank H. Netter MD School of Medicine is its flexibility, and the capstone project is completely emblematic of that. It's completely student-directed, so whatever you want your project to be, as long as it's something that you're passionate about, then they give you all of the tools and resources that you need to pursue it. This project allows somebody to take their own imagination and passions and their own ideas. For Ben, it was a lot of his own interests and passions that he got to direct into that topic of a project. It's very different than just seeing a patient in your office. I think it'll be nice at the end of my fourth year when you have this finished project that you've dedicated so much time and energy to and you can really track its development throughout your fourth years and it kind of parallels your growth as a medical student also. 